my channel or hello if you are new thank you so much for clicking on this video in this video it is going to be my 19 and 20 week pregnancy update for you guys lots has changed everything so much to update you guys about within the last update video so let's just go ahead and jump into what you guys came for but before we do please be sure to hit that subscribe button guys and join the family in the journey and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed so let's go ahead and jump right on in okay guys so i am currently 20 weeks and two days i believe let's see so yeah two days um and we just had our anatomy scan I believe it was this past like last week like last Wednesday and we were just so excited for it um, I took videos but I'm not going to include a whole lot of videos or any of the videos in this because they're really long and too it was just checking up on her anatomy and everything like that so i do have some ultrasound pictures here to show you guys before we get into symptoms and everything like that i'm covering up where got it done at now this is the gender confirmation it's a girl for sure now it was so hard because when we was doing the anatomy scan she was not wanting to show us her parts so we could completely identify her gender and then we got a face picture it's kind of scary honestly um but apparently um they don't have fat on them yet around this stage so they kind of just look like a little skeleton and then we have her little foot and toesies. And then the bottom one is just her left leg. Now this one is my absolute favorite. We never got a picture like this with our first daughter. And this was the first thing that we were able to get when we started the ultrasound. And that is a perfect profile picture i am this is literally my all-time favorite our first daughter no you could not get a more picture perfect than this she was stubborn she was sassy and everything now this baby she is sassy too because she liked to never let us look at her feet look at her fingers get all the stuff that we needed to look at that was important we thought we were going to have to make a separate appointment again just to get a look at her feet. Um, she kept trying to hide them and she kept hiding her face with her fist up. It was the cutest thing, but right off the bat we got the perfect profile picture of her. And um, I'd go back in November for the next appointment. But let's go ahead and jump right on into symptoms cravings and a belly shot for you guys so we will start out with symptoms i still have a bad gag reflex i think that's not ever going to go away um i have some lower back acne i never break out at all hardly ever i actually have a little bit of acne going on here too and on my lower back so i have some acne going on um my nails are kind of growing pretty quickly, more than normal. So that's unusual for me considering I have a thyroid condition. So that is new. Um, I have been extremely tired lately. Just so tired. And it's starting to become uncomfortable sleeping at night time for me because of my back and I'm having to take my first daughter's boppy pillow and kind of just put it between my legs where my knees are to kind of help with my back and my hips and just to get comfortable to sleep so that's fun and then 
I have also been having a little bit of emotions here and there, like extreme hormones going everywhere. Like this past weekend, one day was horrible for me. I was extremely sad. The first thing I done when I opened my eyes was bawl my eyes out like 10 minutes, 15 minutes straight. So hormones are all over the place still, but that I pretty much think is all of these symptoms that I can think of right now. Now let's just jump right on into cravings. Cravings have been a little bit more, but they're the same cravings I had with our first daughter, which is Slim Jims, L8. Um, I've been craving a NOS, which is an energy drink, but I've not had one, but I've been craving one. I crave, um, I was craving pizza rolls. I ate like a pizza roll bag in like three days because I wanted it really bad. And I should have known that it was going to be another girl too, because it's literally the same exact cravings I had with my daughter, my first one. So there's that. Um, I've been craving also just pizza, which I did with my daughter. And I think that's pretty much all of the cravings that just sums everything up with that. Now we will move on to a belly shot and that will be the end of this. One last thing I also forgot to mention, it's like more of an update. Um, I have started feeling her kick, but not up in my stomach, like up in by my ribs, bottom of my ribs. It's mainly low, like near the bladder. She is always kicking my bladder at night time. And like I said, I can feel them, but they're not strong enough to feel on the outside just yet. Cause right now she's only the size of a beanie baby. If you don't know what a beanie baby is, I'll insert a picture, but most people know what a beanie baby is. But she's only that big, but I have started feeling some kicking. I believe I started feeling them around 19 weeks. But yeah, it's mainly on the bladder where she loves to stay. Um, but that pretty much wraps up this video, guys. I really hope you enjoy the updates and I will try to get this up as soon as I can before I turn 21 weeks. But I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this journey and I will see you in the next video.